and you will find oodles and oodles of cool vintage and antique stuff. It's like a it's like a really bougie flea market. I see glass. Glass always cheers me up. Oh my gosh, look at these dogs. Oh, these dogs are fantastic. Oh, I see some really pretty candlesticks. Wow, look at those shoes. Oh, I see little critters. Fantastic indoor swap meet where this weekend is the fantastic vintage market. I haven't been here for a very long time, so it'll be fun to check in on some of my favorite vendors here, see how they're doing, and find some really good stuff. Let's get shop done. So if you come to visit the fantastic vintage market, come in the back door and head to the left and just head toward the restrooms. Head toward the restrooms because that's where the fantastic vintage market is. And you will find oodles and oodles of cool vintage and antique stuff. It's like a it's like a really bougie flea market because all the vendors wait and build up for this and they do this once a month on the third weekend of every month. And there's always new and exciting things. I'm probably gonna dig around in there just a little bit more. There's so much to see. This is such a fantastic space inside the Fantastic Vintage Market. I mean, you could just spend the whole time in here looking at all the cool stuff. That's a cool little can of holder with a handle it says oh it's Czechoslovakia that's cool I like that you know I've already started a little pile over here so I'm gonna put this over here and I got these two little guys too I don't know anything about these but they're just so intriguing with the little fruit I don't even know what kind of fruit is that I don't even know what kind of fruit that is and that one's oranges all right, there's our pile so far. A cute little doggy. He's flat, which is not what you normally see in something like that. You know what? He's really interesting. I'll put him in the pile too. Nice little Kuklomas. Composition doll. I love her face. Oh, I see a little birdie think this guy will end up going into our pile too but he's gonna go home to my little bird collection found a piece of glass that I like get all the different layers and colors and then all the applied pieces there is one little sharp point back here but it's not bad it's not bad at all there's the pontal where the glass rod got broken off as they were making the piece I think that one's going in the pile as well. There is so much to see in this booth. It's just a little treasure trove. Look at this little teeny tiny little, it's a Mexican pottery. Just a little teeny tiny vase. I kind of love that too. That is a, a unicorn planter. And then salt and peppers. I have bought a lot of salt and peppers from this space. Look at that. Look at, I love the display too. Such a fantastic way to display salt and peppers. We got some doll heads. Oh, are you? Oh, but yeah, you are. Look at how cute you are. You were part of a salt and pepper. Do you have a friend? You are a salt or pepper. Maybe you have a friend here somewhere. I will look for you. Cute little redware teapot with a rooster. Look 
how cool this looks. Lots and lots of little linens. That has tulips cr uh, cross stitch on that one. Cross stitch. Three dollars. I kind of like that. Hmm. Latch hook fish. All right. I think we're going to go settle up on our pile and then go see what else we can find. Oh, and there's more stuff right outside the space too here I didn't even look at. I threw a couple more things into my goodie pile, which I'll have to show later. Oh my gosh, these little grapes. I wonder if those are for sale or she's just using those for display because I really love those. And I love these little uh, Capodimonte flowers that look almost like mushrooms. Hmm, I may have to add some more when I come back. Might have to. But yeah, I got some fun stuff, some fun stuff for a new little project that I'm working on. Oh my gosh, look at the, the hot dog. Little, uh, what do you call that? Like a die cut, maybe? Little advertising guy? I think these things are not for sale. She has her own little museum going. Let's see, you know me, I like a sale. Let's see what we can't live without here. Hmm. Little Staffordshire type doggies, cute. I'm really going to be particular on some of the things that I buy. Now that last place I knew I could make a pile, you know, and get really good pricing. Um, but some of them I have to be a little more careful in what I pick up. Eight dollars on that. But it's always fun to come and explore and see some really crazy cool stuff. Remind you what's out there. I think that I get kind of refreshed when I come to a place like this because I mean, most of these people, they shop in the same places that I do, and that's where they find these treasures. And so it just makes your eye a little sharper. Let's see how much these are, 25, that's about right. That's about what I get for them. There's a Brayton Laguna Glaze Ceramic Flower Cart. That's an, oh, these interesting picture right there. Also. All right, let's see what we have over here. That is a really nice little aquarium paperweight. It is not Murano. You can tell that because of the cloudy base. It's still nice nonetheless, but it is not a Murano one. A lot of them will be listed as Murano on places like eBay and other places for sale when they truly aren't. Oh, that's really a pretty little set. Let's see, hand painted in Thailand. Look at that. Are they match? They don't match. They're different. So it's not actually a set. So I think this is just a little trinket box. That's really pretty. We might find out how much that one is. Some enameled glass. Look at this interesting spoon. It makes you. It's got some marks on it. JW and S. And then there's a swan mark. So I don't know what all that means, but that's really, really an interesting piece. This looks like Capodimonte, even though it just says Italy, it really has a Capodimonte look and feel to it. Oops. Don't mess up the display, Danny. Oh, geez. come on now. You get back on there just the way you, oh my goodness. There you go. There you go. All right, let's see. That's gorgeous. Look at that. That's an older piece for sure. I can't make out what that says. I do believe it's like a Russian Kokloma, 
but the colors are absolutely stunning on this. Let's see what that says. 20. Really, really like this set. I don't know if that's per spoon or it's, I think that's per piece. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. That is a beautiful little piece of furniture. Oh my gosh. That, it's like a really heavy textured enamel. That's kind of stunning. I love it. 50 for this? That's a great price because that is, I'm trying to think where would I put it because you can't really, you don't want to put anything on top of it. It just kind of has to sit just, all in its splendor. I I I might end up with that. I really like that. She has lots of jewelry. Some camel. It's camel art. These cute little pencil pens carved out of wood. Oh, look at that plate with the cockatoo on it. I think I'm going to have to come back to this booth and just take a deeper look and find some things. <gasps> oh, that's a real turtle. Oh, poor baby. I don't actually like it. Oh, oh, he's not glued on there. I do not like, I do not like that that would not be something I would add to my collection. That would just make me sad every day. I see glass. Glass always cheers me up. This piece right here is twenty-five dollars. I feel like that is not a bad price. I bet that glows like the Dickens too. I also like the little bud vase back there for four dollars. Okay, I am gonna ask to see some of these pieces and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up taking some home. Let's look around what else is in here. Oh, it's a beautiful Czechoslovakian glass decanter. Well, that's an interesting piece. It's got cards as the uh, motif. Oh, that's, okay. I need to see some of these pieces in my hands. Okay, ended up with a few pieces of glass. I'm going to see if I'm going to add anything else to my pile. Look at these mid-century glass little platters with the fish on them. It says locks. Those are cool. I love the turquoise color of the mid-century pieces. The cockatoo sculpture uh, they said was jade. I'm not sure I've ever seen gray jade. It's an interesting color. They were asking a hundred dollars on that piece. Let's see how much are you? 25 on the Bluebird of Happiness. Pretty little piece for ten dollars. This looks like Empoli. 55. Yep, they've got it marked as Empoli. Pretty little piece of Empoli. It does look like a Fenton piece there. Oh, look at the peanut dish. How fun is that? Made in Japan. I don't have a price on him. There tend to be, a, you know, I don't know. It's got a really call for to me for, for me to ask a price if it doesn't have a price on it. I don't know. Some things I will ask and some things I'm just, yeah, I just don't ask. And I bet you there's a lot of people like that. So if you are a dealer at a place like this, be sure you are putting price tags on your items. It definitely encourages people to buy more. 25 on that one. Okay, 
that's a pretty awesome piece of pottery right there. Look at the drips. The drips are actually like dripping off of this piece. Wow. That's kind of amazing. You know what? This is one I think I'm going to ask how much it is. So that was like a little awkward because um, at first they said 10 and then they texted with somebody whose item it was and then she came back at 40 but she couldn't give me any reason why it was 40 other than it was handmade. And that, that doesn't make the value. The value is in who made it, what is the quality, what is the age, and there was like, there was no information. So, uh, unfortunately, I did not get that piece. I would have paid 20 for it. I would have paid 20 and a half. Let's see what goodies I can't leave here without today. I always find something in her space. Oh my gosh, look at these dogs. Oh, these dogs are fantastic. A little basset hound, <laughs> the bulldog, and what is he? I don't know what he, oh, he's shaggy. He's a little shaggy dog. Okay, uh, we're gonna get those. It's basically five bucks each. They're coming with me. This is a nice little piece of glass. Ooh, $10. You're speaking my language at $10 on this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put that in our pile too. You can start wrapping. I am not going to change my mind. <laughs> the dogs, I think, are adorable. They are adorable. So is this frog. I think I have to have this frog, too. He's just a little frog planter for $5. There we go. We'll grab him, too. I do like the green section. Green is Rachel's favorite color, so I've been more aware of green items. <gasps> Ooh, look at these. Wow, those are really nice. And just $10, so we're gonna put those in our pile too. Oh, I found a nice little whale paperweight with a little Bulacante controlled bubble. Oh, he is signed too. What does he say? I can't quite make the that out. FM Donna 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 B something. You know what? We'll take him too. You're but you're helping her. Okay. I can come back in a little bit. I think she's doing more shopping. Yeah, yeah I'm still shopping. You go ahead and take okay. care of her. That's so fine. Look at this little guy. Okay. He holds a candle. I believe he's, no, I think he's aluminum. I don't have one like him. So we'll put him in the pile too. Let's see what we got here. Aw, the most precious jewels you'll ever have around your neck are the arms of your children. And that is a true statement. Pretty painting. Oh, the monkeys are cute. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Let's see what we got over here. Salt and peppers. Oh, is this pretty ruby red? That's an anchor hawking ruby red. Nice, nice piece. We got some Avon Cape Cod. Clear glass. It's nice what a little light does to your clear glass. Look how pretty that is. Oh, we've got Hummels. Ooh, the emerald green. Love the emerald green. Oh, these are really nice too. Fabergé, kissing doves. Ooh, those are nice. Oh, I don't know if you saw that price. Two eighty for the set of four. Really nice drinkware. Ooh, that's really cute. Look at that. I'm gonna need furniture for my new house. I didn't get very many pieces of furniture at the house I'm in because the room is set up in such a way that it doesn't. It's not really conducive to a lot of furniture, but New House has actual rooms that need little accent pieces. So, you know, this guy's calling my name over here. 
Do I need him for $85? I might need him for $85. I kind of love him. He is 5555 California. So he's a California pottery. It's like a Majolica. I do kind of love him. Hmm, he might be coming home with me. I actually found a couple more things while the camera was off that uh, I'll have to show you at the end. This is $30 for the set, and I'm a little fascinated by it. So you've got these two little, like, condiment jars, and then you've got, this is the salt and the pepper and the little pitcher, and then you got the butter dish. That seems like a really good price. Look at the pickle as the lid. WT. I think I am going to get that set. I really, really love it. It's a pretty little piece of glass here. It's 25 on that one. Oh, are those little Shawnee cats? They might be. $7 for the pair. Those are going to come with me too. Here, trying to show them to you a little bit better. There we go. We'll just make our little pile down here. Oh, those are cute too. I don't know. We've got a thing for salt and peppers lately. There's some really cute ones out there. Oh, those are so mid century right there. Four dollars for those? All right. Put those in the pile too. Oh, look at the little anthropomorphic guys. Those are cute. <gasps> more birds. I don't need more birds. I don't need more birds. You don't need more birds, Danny. You don't need more birds. Okay, I've done my bird limit. Buying that last guy kind of like that was my personal bird budget. I spent it. Oh, so pretty. Let's see what we got over here. <gasps> oh. Roseville baby's plate with rabbits. Oh, I see some really pretty candlesticks. Marbled glass. Those are cool. It doesn't really fit with anything that I have. I mean, yes, I know I could sell them. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure I could uh, get more than maybe 15 to 20 for those. Oh, really cool shelves. Wow, look at those shoes. Lori Blue, made in Italy, tropical floor, open-toed pumps. Wow, <laughs> those are really pretty. I don't wear heels. I haven't worn heels for a very, very long time. But that is something I would definitely consider wearing. Oh, we got a cabinet all full of little things. Take a peek in here. More holes. We've got some Joseph Originals birthday girls. These are the ones with the brown eyes. They were made later. You want to be on the lookout for the ones with the black eyes. Look at this little elephant, little entourage here. Cars, any race cars for Noah? You know, I'm always looking for the F1 cars. He does love his F1 cars. It's another really pretty piece of art glass with the feathered design on there. It is signed DC. They're asking $53. Got some Fenton. It's got a nice design on it, made in Japan. She's wrapping up 
my goodies back there. I'm super excited about finding those items. I'm going to see if I can add anything else to the pile. There's such an assortment in this booth. It is crazy. More littles in a little case. I have often found these little napkin holder kind of dolls, but never actually seen one with the napkins demonstrating it. So now I know that's how it works. Oh, my grandmother had these little guys on a tree. Yep, these are the kind that go on the tree. She had these on her tree, and you know what? I swear, <laughs> I don't, I don't know which if there's a tree that I could put these on at my new house, but. If there is, I'm going to come back for these because this event happens every single month. So if it's meant to be, they're still going to be here. These little Tahona Odom sweetgrass baskets. Really cool, really cool. Horsies, uh-oh. Rachel's first thing to me was, Mom, do I get to take my shelves? I'm like, yes, you do. I can't imagine her not having her shelves to put all of her horses on. What fantastic artwork on that sheet music. That is so cool. I think that's what a lot of people do with these is they frame them and turn them into art on the wall. Oh, there's a little Fenton hobnail epern. Lots of instant ancestors. Oops, sorry. Look how sweet he is. Oh. Okay. He is adorable. He's only $10. A little Pendleton lamb. I must have him. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, that vase glows right there. I think I will probably go ahead and get that one as well. I want a display with black lights with all the, the glowing glass in it. I love how she displays her pins on an old mannequin covered in lace. Let's see what we got down here. Ooh, those are pretty. Twenty dollars. I think twenty and twenty and twenty. Hmm, it says this one's as is, so it might have a little damage, but those are stunners. I'm just gonna take a peek. Oh, okay, I think the candle is kind of stuck in there, but I want to see the bottom. Okay, they're not super old. They're not super old. Oh, there we go. Oh, but they're so pretty. I'm not sure I'd put a candle in it even. I think I'd put something else if I got those. Those are so pretty. Nice barware. Oh, look at all the decanters. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of decanters. Over here. Little goat's milk soap. Aw, a little, little goatee made of soap. Imagine that. That is a pretty little paperweight for ten dollars i do love the black and gold i think i'll grab that too that is a gorgeous gorgeous box there 35 inlaid abalone on that one. Oh, you're interesting look at that the little green stones that one is 32. that is really cool that is the kind of piece I'd have to ask George the Antique Nomad about. Just so interesting. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, she's fun. Just hanging out there on the shelf. Oh, I see little critters. See, there's any that just say you cannot leave without me. 
Those are really pretty candle holders too. She has some incredible stuff. When you find a dealer that just has an incredible eye for things, it's so fun shopping through their spaces. It's almost like a work of art, the way everything is displayed. And it's just, it's so relaxing. I love, I love shopping here at the vintage market and looking for little treasures that I can also resell. All right, I'm definitely going to have to do a little haul at the end of this because I picked up a few things once I went to go pay and I turned the camera off and I'm like, oh, I find something. Look how cute that is with the little panda bears. He's $10. Look at those little panda bears. <sighs> kind of love them. I do love the little angry bunny too. How much is the little... Oh, I guess he's not angry. He looked angry from an angle, but he's not. He's a happy bunny. He's 25. Okay, I'm going to get the... I'm going to get the panda bear. It's a majolica. Kind of like elephants, frogs is normally what you find on those. But let's see if we can find something to go with it. Oh, a little custard glass. Are you Fenton? You are Fenton. How much are you? We might have to get a price on this little guy. I bet he glows too. And I think I took my uh, black light out of my purse for something. So that would be just something I would do. But that's okay. Because when I do the haul, I'm going to show you everything. see what pretties we have here. Oh, I see a little glass egg. 38. Oh, that is pretty. Paperweight. For 20. Are you signed? You are signed. 2007. Mm. I think I might spring for that one too. Just on a hunch. Well, fancy meeting you guys here. <laughs> Ooh, are you finding goodies? We are. Records. Ooh, you know what? Don't show me. Don't show me. I'm going to come watch your video and see what goodies you found gonna here. going to see what treasures are in Yeah, here. for those that don't know, this is the Picker Road family. So uh, they go out treasure hunting as well. So if you want to see what's in that bag, you're going to have to go watch their video. <laughs> Let's get back to shopping. I love this rack. <gasps> That's fantastic. It's so old. $145. Mmm. Tempting. Tempting. Let's see. Oh, Look how sweet these are. Little babies in a little rosebud. Oh my gosh. Those are sweet. But they're resin. They're just right. They were porcelain. I'd probably be grabbing them. Wow, that is a little wild pendant there. I think it used to be a pin too, but the pin portion is no longer on there. Got some shells. Oh, here's another one. Oh, this one. No, there's no pin. Seems like it should be a pin though. Those are pretty stunning. In case you haven't figured it out, I do love color. Look at these cute little boots. Ten dollars. Oh, there we go. Now I can show you the Joseph Originals with the black eyes next to the brown eyes. Although I don't know if this one's a Joseph. Are you a Joseph? No, you're you're not. You're not Joseph, so maybe I can't. Here I thought I was going to be able to. Nope, they're all the brown eyed girls. Okay, never mind. I can put one up on the screen though to show you the comparison. That I can do for you. Unicorns? I have known Robert Bob. Is it Barbara? Is that how you say his name? Barbara? 
beautiful jewelry. Okay, I'm going to come back. This is the booth that on the other side I found some things that I love. So I'm going to go back and pick a thing or two. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Oh, he actually, I was hoping he was tin and not a real plate. I just don't have a place to go with like a real plate. I'm not comfortable like hanging them. Oh, look at the look on her face. As promised, here are some of the goodies that you didn't see me pick up that I wanted to show you. I got this little Majolica pitcher here for $7. It says J. Wilfred on the bottom. Absolutely gorgeous little piece. And then there's this guy is a piece of whole pottery. I got him for 10 He's a R9, six and a half inch R, has the original sticker over here, which I thought it was great. So that was a pickup. What did I, yeah, I paid 10 for that one. I got some really pretty little trinket boxes, including this one that is made in Mexico. It is Tanala, sweet little trinket box with a bird. You can see inside there. I also got this little lacquered and enameled one, with that, which I thought was just gorgeous. This one was $5. That one was also $5. There's that. We got a piggy, a little piggy, a trinket box. He was $10. I got the cat salt and pepper. Sorry, my light out here is not the greatest. Little Siamese cat salt and peppers with their original cork bottoms made in Japan. All these items will be in the recap to show you the value. If we can get some light on them. There we go. I got these little celluloid uh, little picks. That one says Roaring Twenties. It's a, a, little, a little boy doing what little boys do. And these are like little tiki totem uh, appetizer forks. I got all of these little glass birds. Absolutely amazing, little glass birds. I got these and the forks and a couple other little pieces all together at the same booth. She gave me a spectacular deal on these. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at this little teeny, teeny guy. 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 14 little birds here. Aren't they great? Absolutely, one of my favorite purchases uh, are these radish salt and peppers. I've never seen them before, and I don't normally pick up silver plate, but these were just too cool not to grab. Oh my gosh. And she gave me a really good deal. I believe I got these for 10. Yes, 10. I got the orange glass vase. You can see it's got a little bit of a summer so fade going in there. Just a cool kind of little mid-century. I got him for five bucks. The parrot. The parrot is carved from a horn. You can see it's hollowed out there. And she was asking 24. I got him for 20. He's just absolutely amazing. Love him. Love him so much. I got the kitty. The Asian, uh, like a silk, what do they call this? I don't know what they call this technique. It's uh, it's almost like a needlepoint on silk. Oops, sorry about that. Needlepoint on silk kind of thing here. And he's got his little grasshopper friend there. I believe I paid $10 for that. I got some jewelry. I got these little, uh, little tortoise shell earrings not real tortoise shell it's a plastic but that's what they call this brown swirl i got this beautiful copper wrapped pendant i got some adorable little chili pepper earrings i got these are like a cloisonne but not no i wouldn't call them cloisonne actually they're more like enameled I don't know. They're just super interesting. Super interesting. That's what I call them. I got 
the feather earrings. They looked very Native American to me. And this amazing flower pin, very 60s. All of those for a buck a piece. And I got a Mickey Mouse pin. I believe he is vintage. He is made in Taiwan, which tends to be vintage. I did pay $10 for him uh, only because I'm getting ready to do a Disney whatnot sale and I need some good stuff. So I thought he was good. I got some more of these little miniature pieces. This is a little glass dog. And I got this little milk bucket. I believe this is a Hagen Reniker that went with a cow. But I am going to use these miniatures for a little project that I'm doing. So stay tuned for that because I do intend to film it. Uh, I just, I need to do, I need to do something relaxing and fun and, and all that good stuff. So that, that's coming soon. Oh wait, I got this other little piece to go with that project too. This little uh, Vegas pin, how do I turn it on? There, can you see it? I think it needs a new battery. See it blinking? Ha! So uh, it it does flash. Spectacular little piece. All right, we got that too. All right. Oh yes, some things I got for myself. Yeah, the mushrooms. Aren't they amazing? She sold me the three of them for twenty five dollars. Peacock feathers. I love peacock feathers. I have a peacock feather a vase in my office. She sold me all of these for $5. And then I got all these little nests that I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with them yet. But I got a whole little bag full of these little nest things that I just want to craft. I want to create. That's kind of been on my mind for a while. And it's I'm being called to do it. So I'm going to do something. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, why not? It's free. And then you will have me come up on your YouTube homepage as uh, one of the people you subscribe to and you can see when I put out new content, which by the way is every day, and uh, see all the goodies that I'm buying on these adventures. Okay, on to the recap now.
another great shopping experience here at the Fantastic Vintage Market. So the third weekend of every month, come on down to the Fantastic Indoor Swap Meet here in Las Vegas. And uh, they do this whole thing all over again. So with that, I'm heading out. You go be profitable and make it fun.